Hey Fingsters and welcome to this short video where I want to introduce the Python built-in bytes function. So this function takes per default, so you don't, you can use this function to convert um, different data types to a, a, a byte type. Okay, and the byte type is just it's sim very similar to a string, but with one major difference, and this is that it instead of having a character, it converts it into a sequence of bytes, and each byte. Um, as you may know, is a sequence of eight bits by itself. Okay, and, th and this is like a very compact data type. And the bytes function, it's it's like a const constructor that creates out of different input arguments um, such such a byte um, type. So how how does it actually look like? So let's have an example. Say we um, want to so we can, we just call bytes, and you see already it's already highlighted. So it's a built-in function. You don't need to import anything into uh, into Python. And now you can see there are four different ways of initializing um, the bytes constructor or the bytes uh, function. And the first one is just just create an empty bytes object. So for example, you can create um, such a byte object x. And now if you print x, you see uh, it's it's similar as an empty string, similar to an empty string, but with the B prefix, which indicates that it is a byte. And now you can also initialize um, this byte uh, by giving an, um, for example, an integer number, say we give an integer number two, and this now indicates the length, so the number of bytes in our um, byte uh, t type. Okay, so you see uh, bytes, so if you, our bytes string, byte string is, Basically, a sequence of bytes. So it's multiple bytes. It's not one byte. It's multiple bytes. Okay. So therefore, we have this. So we have this S um, indicating that it's uh, multiple bytes. That bytes that you um, pass um, into a sequence or that you um, concatenate into a sequence. And you see these four characters: the backslash x zero zero um, is one byte. So how? So why is it? What, what is the meaning of this? Why is this one byte? Why is this considered one byte? This one is a byte. Of zeros, so byte is eight bits. For example, this one, this sequence of eight zeros, this would be one byte. So we have eight bits. A bit is a zero or a one, and everything is uh, in computing. Everything is com uh, comprises of uh, consists of um, a sequence of bits of zeros and ones. And this one would be considered as one byte. And this backslash x indicates that uh, it uses hexadecimal number to and describe this byte. And a hexadecimal zero means this first package is um, translated into, so this hexadecimal zero, it's uh, it's uh, basically, it it's uh, um, the first part of, of uh, the first four um, positions of the byte. And the, he the second one, the he this hexadecimal zero um, um, is associated to the second part. And uh, why hexadecimal? Hexadecimal means that you have that each number um, encodes up to 16 different uh, different symbols. Okay, and uh, therefore we have like four positions, four bit positions, because four bit positions you can, uh, that can be either one, zero or one, can be two times two times two times two, 16 different, um, can have, uh, can encode 16 different symbols. Okay, so, so um, yeah, that's why like this this notation is similar to this notation which I give here. And um, if you pass a larger number, say four, then it simply creates a sequence of four bytes. If you pass an even larger number, like forty-two, it uh, creates a very long sequence of bytes. So this is one way of initializing um, this bytes type. And uh, second way is to pass simply pass a list of integers like one, two, three into the bytes constructor, and the, now the the integers get converted into bytes and you see we have now um, uh, 0 1 this is like the byte um, representation of the integer 1 then we have uh, backslash x 0 2 which is the byte representation of the integer 2 and we have backslash x 0 3 which is the integer representation of uh, of this uh, 3 uh, the byte representation of the integer 3 and you but you need to be careful that all um, that all integers in your list that you pass or in, in your iterable that you pass into the bytes constructor are between 0 and 265. Why is that? Yeah, because 8 bits can only encode 265 different uh, symbols. So if you, if you pass 999, you cannot, uh, like this number, this integer number cannot be um, 
encoded with 8 bits because 8 bits can only encode numbers from 0 to 260, um, 256. Um, so therefore this throws an error. It uh, tells us that bytes must be in the range uh, 0 to 256. Okay, so um, therefore yeah, be careful that you pass only integers between 0 and 255 included into the uh, into this list. So this is the second way of creating a byte array. And the third way, which is also quite common, is to simply use a string. Like this, now this is a string and a string means a sequence of characters and each character is now not one byte but consists of ma multiple bytes to, um, if you use uh, UTF-8 uh, encoding for example. And you can also use, so pass a string and the encoding you are using, encoding would be mostly ASCII or UTF-8 which is, are the two big um, encoding um, standards um, out there, and you pass, you pass, you pass it. It just describes which characters are mapped to which numbers, to which byte numbers, basically. And um, now, if you run this, you see that now we get a bytes byte string. I call it bytes string because it uh, the properties are very similar to a string. So, for example, you can assign, say, the result to the character b, and now you can even use slicing. You can use indexing, like accessing only the first byte, and this now gives you the uh, number, number 104, and so on. Yeah. So, but it, it behaves very similar. It's an uh, basically much like an array, much like a string. It behaves like a string for all practical purposes, and you can access individual bytes in this string, so individual characters. Now the character is just encoded with a byte. Okay. So these are the three main ways to initialize the bytes. Um, uh, to use the bytes function to initialize the byte type, uh, byte object, and um, yeah, I think uh, I think this is enough for today. If you want to boost your Python skills, and definitely check out my book Python One Liners, and also check out our um, email academy. So if you type in um, email minus Python minus course, so blog.things.com slash email minus Python minus course, you can um, you can. Um, join our email program and it's basically 100% uh, free education in different... I will also give a link in the description. It's 100% uh, free education in the Python space and will boost your skills uh, uh, the, the ver in, a, in a very very uh, like structural manner. And I even create, I even have many free Python courses like Python NumPy courses, Python one-liner courses, Python functions, Python cheat sheets. So many different courses you, you, and you can just click on the course that interests you most and then you, then you receive the email lessons for free in my email academy. So um, I think this is a very, uh, an excellent way to, to learn and uh, more and tens of thousands, there are tens of thousands of coders on the email list and I get a lot of uh, positive feedback for this email um, academy. So check it out, check out the email academy and uh, yeah, thanks for watching this video. See you in the next video. Bye.